Hi guys, welcome back to Toy Transformations. I'm so happy to see you again. In today's video, we're going to transform four LOL dolls into these Barbie characters that we have here. So it's Chelsea, Skipper, Stacy, and of course, Barbie. But first, we have a ball to open with you. So come with me. It's unboxing time. So here's our ball, guys. This is from the Glitter series. So this is a super special unboxing. I'm sure we're going to love it so much. So let's take out the first collectible sticker and it says... Hmm, lights, camera, action! Let's continue with the second layer. In this layer, we're going to find the second collectible sticker. Look, here it is! And our sticker says that our LOL doll can either cry, spit, tinkle or change color. Okay, now let's remove the third layer. Here's our first surprise bag. Let's take it out. Are you ready to open it? Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's see, let's see. What could it be? Wow, it's a super cute pink baby bottle with a glitter cap. Time to remove the next layer so we can take out the next surprise bag. And here it is. So, what do you think we'll get in this one? Let's open it to find out. And it's a cute pair of lilac shoes. Finally, the last layer. Let's take it off so we can take out our last surprise bag that's inside this compartment. Here we go. And here we're going to find the outfit for our doll. Let's see. Wow, what a cute dress. It's so glittery. I love it. Finally, it's time to open the ball. Wow, there are so many surprises inside. And did you notice that this ball is gold? Let's take a look at the catalog. Here we can see all the LOLs from the glitter series. They all look so good. Which one would you like to get? Now let's open the last surprise bag. And it's a beautiful crown. Here we have our instructions and here's the bag that has our doll in it. Which one do you think we'll get? Hmm, let's see. And it's center stage from the dance club, guys. Oh, she's so pretty. Okay, so here we have the other LOL dolls that we'll use for today's transformation. We'll use Rocker for Barbie, but we won't use any of her accessories. We'll actually use Center Stage's dress for her to make Stacy. We'll use MC Swag, but we won't use her accessories either. Instead, we'll use these ones by her side. To make Skipper, we'll use Queen Bee, but we won't use any of her accessories either. Instead, we'll use these ones. And to make Chelsea, I'll use this red LOL dress and these shoes. So, if you want to find out how we made them, come with me. Let's get started. Okay, so we'll start with Barbie. And the first thing we'll do is to grab a big piece of moldable foam and we'll put it over her hair to make a whole new hairstyle for our doll. We'll actually use her original hair as a bit of a guide. Once we have it like this, we'll take a modeling tool to make the texture of the hair. For Chelsea, we'll cut off center stage's pigtails with a pair of scissors and then we'll cover the holes left with a little bit of tape. Remember to be really, really careful while using scissors because I don't want you to get hurt. Then we'll take another piece of foam and we'll put it over her head. First we'll cover all her original hair and then we'll give her some straight bangs. She will look so super cute. Okay, so what we're going to do now is make the texture of her hair with a modeling tool like the one we have here. First, we'll start with her bangs and then continue with the rest. Remember, she has straight hair, so you just need to make some straight lines. Now it's Stacy's turn. So first, we'll have to cut MC Swag's braids. Then we'll cover her head with a big piece of foam. She'll have a similar hairstyle to Chelsea's one, but without the large bangs. Her hair will also be long, so remember to lengthen out the foam gradually. Then make the texture of her hair with the modeling tool again. But this time, we're going to grab a different modeling tool to make it. 
We'll use this one that's more similar to a brush instead. We'll make it a little bit curly, but not too much. For Skipper, we'll cut Queen Bee's buns with a pair of scissors. If you're having any trouble with this step, please ask for the help of a grown-up. Remember that safety is always first. After that, we'll cover the holes left with a bit of tape. Once we've covered the holes, we'll take a big piece of foam and we'll put it all over the head. Skipper also has very long hair, so that's why we need so much foam. Now we'll add texture with these two modeling tools. The one that looks like a knife and the other one that's a bit like a brush with hard bristles. Now we'll start to paint Stacy's face. We'll choose a pale rose for her. And we'll do the same for Skipper. You can put some white glue on her eyes, just like I did, so that if you accidentally get some paint on them, you can just remove the glue afterwards and that's it. Then we'll start to paint Barbie's hair. We'll use a shade of yellow that's not too strong, like banana yellow. Make sure not to leave a single white spot. But to make her look wonderful, we're going to take a wide brush, like this one, and gold paint to give her some highlights on the hair. She'll have such amazing hair. For Chelsea's hair, we'll use the same shade of yellow. They'll look so beautiful. Remember to be careful not to get paint on her face. Then we'll add some gold highlights to her hair as well. These gold highlights will look so good on her. Now Stacy's hair will be a bit darker. So we're going to use a light brown like this to paint it. So first we'll cover her hair with a layer of this brown and after that we'll add some more details. We'll use more gold paint and a brush like this to give her some highlights. But they'll look a bit more orange on her because her hair is darker. For Skipper's hair, we're going to use dark brown paint. Now we're almost finished with the painting. Skipper is very cool and she has some blue strands in her hair. So we're going to use this sky blue color to draw them in. Yeah, very good. We're doing a great job, guys. So we'll let our doll's hair dry for a little bit. We're going to use either pale rose or pale peach again for this step. Now let's continue with the body of the next doll. So if you use pale rose on the face, you should use the same color for the body. And if it's pale peach, well then you should use that same color too. This dress looks so cute already, but to make it look more like Barbie's dress, we'll paint the upper part with a white acrylic paint. And we'll add some details later. With a modeling tool like this one, or with a needle in case you don't have one, we'll make some small pink hearts like this. Now let's start on Chelsea's dress. First we'll apply a layer of white acrylic paint all over the dress. This will work as a foundation so that the next colors look stronger and brighter. Then we'll add some color. For Chelsea's dress, I chose this pistachio green, which will look really awesome on her. But we're still missing more details, right? Okay, so we'll start to paint stripes like this one all over the dress. It looks so cheerful. And on the ends of her sleeves, we're going to use sky blue acrylic paint. Use the extra thin brush to make this step easier. Otherwise, you might paint too much of the sleeve. And for the bottom of the dress, we'll make a stripe with a darker shade of pink, like bubblegum pink. This is actually one of my favorite shades of pink ever. And now let's add some dots that will be the flowers that Chelsea has on her dress. Use baby pink or pale rose for them. And you can also choose to use one of your favorite colors. Now we're going to use this outfit for Stacy, but first we have to customize it. We'll cut the lower part with a pair of scissors and after that we'll paint it with white acrylic paint. That's right, looking good. Now that we have our cute shirt painted white, we'll take this beautiful baby blue acrylic paint and we'll use it just for the sleeves and the bottom of the shirt. We'll paint the white triangle in the middle with baby pink acrylic paint. This outfit will look so lovely! To make her shorts, we'll use bubblegum pink again. Yay! We'll just put a layer of it on Stacy's legs and body and it will look awesome! Wow, the shirt looks so good already. Don't you agree? And it looks so cozy as well. We'll put some hearts with pink paint on it too. This will make our doll extra adorable. 
Now let's add some more little hearts, but this time with lilac paint. I think I already know which outfit's going to be my favorite of today's video. But let's wait, because the others will be very cute as well, and I might change my mind when I see them all together. For Skipper's outfit, we'll use this cool skater outfit. So the first thing we'll do is to cut the sleeves to make them shorter. And now we'll use one of our favorite techniques. We'll apply a layer of white acrylic paint to the outfit because later we will add more colors and the white foundation will make it the colors even stronger. Once the white paint is dry, we'll apply a layer of royal blue acrylic paint over it, but just on the shorts. And with a darker shade of blue, like navy blue for example, we'll paint the details. First, two lines on the sides, and after that we'll draw the pockets. Then we'll use white again, but just a little bit, because we're only trying to make these shorts look ripped. So don't put a lot of paint on the brush. On this corner of the shorts, we're going to paint some fruit. So first, we'll use yellow to make a super juicy pineapple. So let's just draw a small oval over here. And next to the pineapple, we will use red to paint a small strawberry. We'll paint the details once the fruit are dry. Now let's use a black fine point marker to draw the details. So over the pineapple, we just need to draw something similar to a net. Once the strawberry is dry, we'll put some dots on it with the fine point marker. We'll use more bubblegum pink acrylic paint to paint the shirt. This color will look so good with her denim shorts. Once this paint is dry, we'll paint a small rectangle with black paint and a thin brush. We'll change the color of the shoes as well. I chose sky blue, but remember that you can use your favorite color. These sneakers will be blue too because blue is my favorite color. So tell me in the comment box below. We're almost done guys. So we'll just paint the yellow boots black. Grab them with a pair of eyebrow tweezers so you don't stain your hands. Here's Barbie guys. She's ready. Her outfit looks just the same as the one in the picture, don't you think? And her hair looks awesome. It's so shiny thanks to the gold highlights we gave her. Good job! Chelsea's almost ready as well. We just need to change the color of her eyes. Use an extra thin brush and sky blue for this step. And try to follow the lines as much as possible. And for the final touch, we're going to apply a layer of clear nail polish to her eyes. And here she is! She looks amazing, guys! The whole outfit looks absolutely gorgeous! She's my favorite because her dress is beautiful. It has a lot of roses and hearts. Oh, it's just so cute! Very good. Now, let's not forget about Stacy. We use sky blue for her eyes as well. And then we'll use a black marker to outline her eyes and make her eyelashes. Finally, we'll apply a thin layer of clear nail polish to her eyes so that they look incredible. Look guys, she's so pretty. Her outfit is super cool because it looks kind of retro, don't you think? I love the hearts that we drew in the middle of her shirt. They make her look so adorable. Now we'll color Skipper's eyes with the same blue that we've been using all along. Then we'll draw her eyelashes and outline her eyes with a black permanent marker. We're almost done guys! Now we just need to apply a thin layer of clear nail polish to her eyes and they'll look beautiful. Wow! I love the blue highlights on her hair! She looks extra cool! And her denim shorts look so real because of all the details that we made with white and navy blue paint. We did such a good job with her too! So here we have our four beautiful LOL dolls dressed as Barbie and her friends! They all look so awesome! First, we have Skipper with a very cool outfit and her blue highlights in her hair. Then there's Stacy. Her hair is so beautiful as well, thanks to the gold paint we used. Next up, it's Barbie! We kept the glitter dress of our LOL, which suits her very well. 
And finally, we have my favorite of the day, Chelsea. They really all look incredible. Good work, guys. Now, finally, as you know, if you like this transformation, please give us a like and leave us your comments below so I can read them. Subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our awesome videos. And don't forget to share this with your friends. We love you so much. Bye-bye.